welcome back to the channel y'all i'll be your host real world detailing product reviews all right guys today we're here we're gonna be testing out the blue coral tasha and protected now i picked this up from dollar general a while back for i think it's over like two dollars man can't beat the price of two dollars uh, i talked about it before i think it's been a while back uh, what brought it back to my attention? I seen it in Dollar General just the other day. So I said I'll come back and talk about it. Now it's with UV protection. Protects, cleans, and restores with a natural shine. We're going to be trying this with the Dollar Tree applicator pad. All right, the one I just got the other day. We're going to see what it'll do. All right. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just simply spray it on the tire here. All right. Comes out like regular. Comes out kind of like regular arm roll. As you can see here. I'm going to just kind of let that soap in there. And then I'm going to spray a little on the applicator. Just rub it in like I did. Now, I'll be trying it once again with this. Dollar Tree applicator pad here that i picked up this stuff smells good too i would say you can definitely use it on the interior basis it'll give your interior a really good smell um uh, this stuff is super amazing man supposed to smell it smells really really good all right so let's say in here let's see what it says do it says shake well spray directly onto surface is what i did Okay, wipe even in the surface with a cotton uh, microfiber cloth or applicator pad. Wipe away with any excess. Use regular to maintain protective finishes. For several faded areas, multiple applications may be required. That's all it's really saying. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go ahead on and wipe this in. Wipe this in on, with the applicator. Let's see what we get. That's all these lines and these new tires, man. It's kind of hard to really dress a tire. Look at there. It's all those lines and the, these new tires, man. Not but line. The whole tires are lines. Groove is what I really don't like about these tires. Man. All those lines in there just hold a lot of crap. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, these tires like this, you're gonna definitely want to use mostly water based dressing on, on these type of tires. As you can see here, it's bad. Yeah, you want to go with mostly water based dressings. Because, I'm going to tell you guys, these tires, these grooves in these tires, like this whole lot of germs and stuff. So you're going to want to go with mostly, uh, to me, in my opinion, water-based. You don't even want to get a heck of a lot of gloss on tires like this. But as you can see, what it looks like, it's more of a low to medium, more of a natural look. If you're into more of a natural satin look. Looks good though, nice and clean looking. It give you more of a low to medium gloss, I would say. If I bring you guys in, and like I said, with a tire with all these grooves in it like this, you're wanting to use mostly water-based dressings because uh, the simple fact you don't want those grooves to hold a whole lot of grease and grime that's gonna sling all everywhere. That that's drying all the way in. You guys can kind of see what is what you get with it. Yeah, it's drying all the way in there. Yeah. Those grooves, man, make it kind of aggravating they really. You know, make it kind of aggravating to shine on tires. Just I don't know why they make it with all these grooves here. Look here. Good tires, man, but all those grooves is one thing I don't really like about these tires. But uh, yeah, it's more of a 
natural look, in my opinion. Um, if you guys like it, like that type of shine right there, I do. I don't like a real greasy tire because I'm going to do them a sling all over the car. So that's the look I like right there. Just a nice and clean look. Too much of that wet stuff just going to sling everywhere. That's all it's going to do. So anyway, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.